Hey everybody, uh, so this video we've got a uh, Condor Dolphin XP005 uh, is the uh, model number on it. Do a quick unboxing on it and then uh, maybe a setup. Or, so this might be a longish video. Um, so this is what it shipped in. You know, it came in a cardboard box and it's this uh, looks like a freaking cooler. I got uh, a power supply and a data cable, it looks like. And let's see if we can cut this tape here, and I hope the top of this just lifts off. Or actually, there's an arrow on the top that says up, so let me position it that way, I guess. And this little handy arrow. And hopefully everything doesn't just come flying out of it here. Alright, so that's very clearly not <laughs> up like the box suggests there. So there's our unit anyway. And we've got some other accessories here. Go through all that in a minute. Alright, this thing probably weighs like 35, 40 pounds, it feels like, something like that. But, uh, all right, there it is. All right, there's the other uh, other half of the uh, power cable. Give you a handy uh, paintbrush to uh, clean it with. You know, brush all the chips off. Because of the uh, two jaws that it comes with for uh, just for uh, car keys, like laser cut keys and edge cut keys. I didn't bother purchasing the uh, jaw for the uh, single sided keys because I still have my Blitz machine. And we've got uh, the Allen wrenches that you need to take the jaws on and off. And I'm not sure what this big one's for. I guess that right there looks like it's where it will fit. Okay, these are the uh, cutters in here. I believe it comes with two cutters and then it's going to have your decoder. I guess there might be two decoders in there. Let's see, it's cutter. Uh, it's your 1.5 millimeter cutter. 2.5 cutter. And then your, uh, these are probes um, to uh, decode keys and kind of see where it's at. And uh, these both have the same dimensions on them, so I guess these are the same. Not sure uh, why there's two, maybe in case you break one or something. It's a Honda key that they must have cut just to test it. That appears to be some kind of stop. I think it feels like a magnet. I guess it's not. All right, there's your other jaw. And this one's actually adjustable. It's got uh, four sides on it. And I think I've gotten through everything with the knife here. So I'm gonna put that away before I cut myself. Okay, this is a little cover. Okay, and then this right here looks like it's on there for shipping purposes. It actually has it uh like locked basically locked locked in there where it can't move around during shipping. So we're gonna have to probably take that off, I would imagine. Alright. So before I do anything here, I'm gonna back this out. Maybe. We've got two uh, smaller ones up here. Alright, so that's off. 
Okay, so I just uh, checked out the instruction book there. Uh, something else that I missed here, that's actually a shim right here that's actually locked in the clamp right now that comes with it as well. So you make sure you have that. And then uh, these are going to be little grub screws that are going to, uh, I guess, be used here to hold our cutter in and our probe. So that's our next step is uh, getting those installed. And I'm going to get them started. So uh, this little Allen wrench is four. Yeah, this also needs to be installed as well. This is your uh, protective screen. Okay, and that just actually is held on by a magnet in it. That's kind of neat. It just clicks in place. So that's cool. And we're going to be using the 1.5 millimeter cutter is the one I'm going to throw in there. Got a little uh, rubber uh, on them on it and look at these here um it's going to have a uh, flat spot on it and that flat spot is where the screw actually uh locks into it okay so And we'll grab one of our probes here. And I so said these are both the uh, same, it appears. Okay, and the probe doesn't have any kind of flat spot on it. And it says in the instructions here the probe has to be higher than the cutter. So it is. Make sure these are both uh, locked in here. Okay, so the probe is supposed to be higher than the cutter, and it's not right now. Now it is by quite a bit here. All right, so got my uh, probe higher than the cutter. That's what the instructions say to do. All right, so now we got the uh, probes and all that in there. Yeah, head back up here, and on the top we've got our screen and everything on it and yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on and it's just doing its little, little thing there Bluetooth is uh, flashing on the top which uh, my guess would be to indicate that it's um, looking for a phone because that's how this thing actually you know it works it talks to your phone so I have not uh, ever synced one of these or anything, but I'm going to, at this point, head to my phone. already got the X-Source app downloaded. I meant to buy one of these several months ago and never did. Hit select, and it's showing that device as available. All right, and we're talking now. It's got 75% battery, and the display on top says it's ready. So that's good. And uh, now I don't have... Well, let's say we'll go to machine parameters 
and we're going to do a height level adjustment. Before operation. Please, according to content to operate. Okay, and it's telling me to put the M1 clamp on there. And the M1 clamp, this guy. All the way over. And All right, so there's the M1 clamp uh, installed. All right, well, we've got the uh, cutters in this. I just hit start. Please continue to the next step. Read the tips carefully before operate. Okay, so now I got to lower the tip of the probe to the so it's touching the clamp is what it's telling me. I'm going to open this guy up. All right, so I got it down so it's touching. All right, head back to our... Uh, Next step. Okay, after height level adjustment, please setting cutter diameter again, okay? So we're using the 1.5. Okay. And so now we do clamp calibration. We're using the- Read information carefully before operation. Please according to content to operate. Okay, so I'm going to put a Han 66 key blank in there, so I'll grab one of those. Doesn't say how far. Okay, it's actually a picture on it here. It looks like it's going to the first line. And so this is what our tip stop is for, I believe. So... Tighten that down. Okay, so we got it in there to the first line. All right, calibration completed. Now we will go to the uh, cutting calibration. This function can cut a blank key mainly for calibration. Before accessing this function, height levels complete. Now let's go for it. Cutting calibration complete. Okay. I'm going to use the brush to clean up the clamp. So these are handy condor uh, paintbrush here. And uh, make sure there's no metal left over. Hit continue. Cutting calibration complete, it says. Okay. So 
So now I believe that we're ready to uh, ready to start using the machine. All right, that's what it did to the key here. Just like rounded off the edges is all it did. So I'm going to try to decode a key that I know the code to, and just see if that's working here. All right. <clears throat> Okay, and here's a key that we're going to uh, just try to decode just to make sure that it's uh, working properly on that. Um, I know the bit into this key, it's 643131 and 13121 is the uh, cuts on it. So to do this, we're gonna jump back to the app here. I'm gonna hit find bidding. Uh, it's telling me, so this is a Honda CRV is what that key is to. On 66 is the blank, and it's telling me to use the M2 clamp and the A side. So we gotta swap the clamps out. to actually uh, decode a key here. So it's telling me I gotta put the key in. We're going to the uh, second line there. So we'll do that real quick. Take my uh, tip stop here. Okay, I've got it clamped in. And we're just going to hit continue. Probe just goes to each space and it's just measuring how deep it is. Key learning success, okay. And our bidding is actually here. So 643131 and 131321 which is uh, what the bidding of this key is. You know, this key was cut by, uh, by you know, the code of the car. So that's working great. And um, I'm gonna do a separate video here uh, calibrating uh, this jaw. I uh, forgot to do that, uh, the initial setup process, but I'll, I'll link that so you'll see it. Questions, comments, leave them in the comments and we'll, uh, we'll talk to everybody later.